Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mick. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on custom collection view layouts. In this video, you're going to lay the foundations for the ultra visual layout, which is based on UI collection view layout. You'll see how we can lay out the cells so that we can have one large featured cell and several standard cells, and then how we can morph from a standard cell into the featured cell as the user scrolls. Here's what the app will look like when you finish this video. There will be a single featured cell and several standard cells. And as the user scrolls, the next standard cell will scale and reposition itself so that it then becomes the featured cell. And the Z index of each cell is set to be higher than the one on the preceding cell. So that as that standard cell morphs in to become the featured cell, it actually slides over the top of the previous featured cell, which gives the nice stacking effect. The key to achieving this effect is to effectively manage the three states a cell can be in, and then position all the cells accordingly. The featured cell and the standard cells have a fixed height, and as the user scrolls, the next standard cell transitions to the height of the featured cell. Whilst all cells are positioned in order to maintain a gap, that equals the original height of the cell that's now being transitioned. And this gives the appearance that the cells are all stacked on top of one another. And since the standard height is less than half the featured height, the original featured cell does move slightly as the user scrolls, which creates a subtle parallax effect. In order to achieve the appearance of the cells being stacked on top of one another, when creating the layer attributes, we set the Z index to equal the item index of the corresponding cell in the collection view. This guarantees that the cell will slide over the top of the preceding cell when it becomes a featured cell. So here's a sample app included for this video and it's a pretty basic layout at the minute. It's just a series of cells that are all use different colors. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to implement the first part of the ultra visual layout, which is to have the top cell be like the featured cell and be much larger than all the other cells and then as the user scrolls the next cell under the featured cell will grow to become the featured cell. So the first thing that we need to do is to stop this running and jump back into Xcode. Now this is the first video where I'm actually going to supply you with the layout class and that's because there are a lot of things that need to be set up properties and variables and rather than having you type them all it was easy just to provide you with a ready-baked class and then we can just add the meat to it in the video so I've commented it so you can see what everything does and feel free to take a look at this in your own time but we've got some constants at the top which give us the height of the cells when they're the standard height and the featured height we've got some properties uh, the drag offset which is the amount that the user has to pull before the next cell will snap to be the featured cell. We've got our cache, which you've seen before from previous videos. We've got our featured item index, which returns the item index of the item that's currently the featured item. We've got our next item percentage offset, which gives us the amount that the second cell has grown before it becomes the featured item. And then we've got some width, height, and number of items properties, which are merely convenience properties, to save us having to type out these things over and over again. We've then got our collection view content size, which works out the overall size of our collection views content. And then where we're gonna spend in our time in this demo is prepare layout. So now I've taken you through the existing code. We just need to quickly update our storyboard to use this class. So if we jump to main.storyboard and select the collection view in the document outline, open the inspector, in the attributes inspector, change the layout from flow to custom, and then select our ultra visual layout subclass. And then we can close the inspector and jump back to the layout. Now, all the work we're gonna be doing is in prepare layout in this video. And the first thing that we need to do is I'm just gonna quickly get the standard height and featured height so we don't have to type the whole constant name each time. And the reason they're set up as constants is because we're going to be using them in the 
cell corresponding cell class later in the series. The next, we just need to create a new frame and we're just going to initialize that with CG rec zero. And then we want a Y variable, which needs to be cast as a CG float and we'll give it a default value of zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look through all the items in our collection view. And we're going to use our number of items property, which is declared above. Then what we need to do is get the index path for that item. And we can just create one. And the item will be the corresponding item. And there's only ever one section in this layout. So we'll just give it section zero. And then we can create some layer attributes for that item. And we'll use for cell with index path and pass in our index path. And now we have those. We first need to set the Z index equal to the item. And this is because we need to guarantee that each subsequent item has a higher index than the one before it. So as it becomes the featured cell, it will slide over the top of the previous cell. Then we create a variable to hold our height and we set this to our standard height. And now we're going to look to see whether we need to manipulate the item because it's the featured item or if it's the item directly below the currently featured item, which is the one that will grow. Otherwise, it will remain the standard height. So if the index path to item is equal to the featured item index, we need to calculate a Y offset. And we do this by taking the standard height and times in it by the next item percentage offset. We then set the Y value to equal the collection view dot content offset dot Y minus the Y offset we just calculated. And then we set the height to equal the featured height. Then for our cell that's directly below the featured height, which is the one that's expanding as we scroll, we calculate the max Y, which is equal to the existing Y plus the standard height. And then we set height to equal the standard height plus the max of the featured height minus the standard height times the next item percentage offset and zero. And then we can set our Y value to max Y minus the height. And now we've set up the height and the Y for the two cells. We can simply create our frame. We can CG rex and our X will be zero because it's always aligned to the left. Our Y value will be the Y. The width will be our width and our height will be our height. We can then set the frame on our attributes, append them to our cache. And then we simply need to update our Y value to the max Y of the frame that we've just created so that it's ready for the next iteration of the loop. And with that done, before we can build and run, if we just jump over to Inspiration View Controller and remove the last two lines from View Did Load, which is where we set the item size as that's now set in our custom layout. And then if we build and run, you'll see that our top cell is our featured cell and as we scroll subsequent square cells grow to fill that space which is exactly what we want and that's it for this video tutorial and as always we like to leave off with a challenge as i mentioned in the introduction to this series the ultra visual layout will be built in three parts across three videos and as this video is only the first of those three your challenge this time is to simply keep on watching, where in the next video you'll learn how to position content and update its opacity based on how far off the next standard cell is to becoming the featured cell. And there'll be a fully fledged challenge exercise waiting for you at the end of that video. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.